lot of the investors or the people that just want to get into companies don't understand necessarily what our pegmatites would be mean. What are they related to? Is it lithium, gold, silver? <clears throat> Pegmatites are, are uh, basically the definition of pegmatite would be just coarse grained rock. So you get big crystals, you know, the size of this glass, or I don't know if there's a threshold, maybe of a centimeter or two before you start calling it a pegmatite. But really, it's like a granite rock. If you look at granite, you just see a bunch of crystals. Okay. And maybe they're only a millimeter in size, and it makes the granite rock. But the pegmatites, you look at it, you can see the big crystals are in there. That's easy to identify. We have a pegmatite. Okay. But and what that means in general, uh, it could be a pegmatite with no other metals that are of interest. It could just be quartz and feldspar. That's typical of a pegmatite. Uh, but then you get pegmatites that have rare earth elements associated with them, and then other pegmatite types that have lithium associated with them. Um, the ones we're looking at are obviously lithium potential pegmatites. Uh, certain Types of granite rock, they create the pegmatite. Certain types of granite rock have the chemical makeup to become a lithium pegmatite. Other ones have a chem chemical makeup to become something else, maybe no metals or maybe rare earth. We know our batholith, our project is already known to be a lithium producing pegmatite or producing pegmatites that are lithium bearing. So we are already a step beyond having to try to find the right geology because we know that we have North American lithium already producing. And then Jordan with their joint venture project already drawing pegmatites of the right type and we're just around the corner. So it's one of those things we're saying, we know we've got it, we just have to go there and find them essentially. Okay, and when we talk about like lithium, you know, more and more people are aware of what lithium, you know, the uses, how it's a rare earth mineral, how it's on the strategic uh, metals, now, give us an idea of the scope of how much, uh, how much lithium, how rich is Canada in lithium? Well, it's, it's still evolving. Like uh, We're hearing some big numbers coming out, out of some of the other projects that are going to have 25, 50 million ton type projects uh, that uh, will produce lithium. But I think the issue now is uh, we may have the body in the ground, so you have to then mine the pegmatites out, and then you've got to upgrade lithium content before it will be accepted as a smelter. So each project is going to need to have its own concentrator or have a concentrator nearby where they can send their material. And then after that, it gets to a smelter, which I understand Quebec is building one or more smelters to help alleviate the shipping of the product overseas, like to China for smeltering. So that's a huge step. That will put Quebec and Canada at the forefront of, of lithium production. Thank you for watching the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell and comment down below what you thought of the video. Don't forget to watch our latest video right over there. Click it, come on, I know you want to, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!